Nepal is a country known for its rich culture and geography. Despite making gains in poverty reduction, close to one-third of Nepalese still find themselves below the poverty line, most of which live in remote rural areas of the country. Education is key to unlocking the development potential of communities, and access to electricity is a vital component to this. The Global Sustainable Electricity Partnership pursued its Nepal Energy for Education project to demonstrate the potential of solar energy as a viable power source for improving education and the quality of life of people living in remote villages in Nepal. Nepal is located in South Asia on the skirts of the Himalayas bordering India to the south, east and west, and China to the north. The country covers just over 147,000 square kilometers. It has a population of approximately 30 million people, and Kathmandu, the capital city, is the largest urban center in the country. Only 40 percent of people in Nepal have access to electricity, most of which are in urban centers. People living in rural areas are mainly dependent on kerosene lamps for lighting and firewood and biomass for heating and cooking. This practice is very inefficient and poses a threat not only to the country's forests with the logging for wood, but also to the population's health with the inhalation of toxic fumes. Without access to a reliable source of electricity, rural communities face a tougher climb out of poverty negatively affecting the economic development of the country as a whole. In 2011, Mr. Nirash Subedi approached the Global Sustainable Electricity Partnership with an idea to provide a reliable source of energy to a remote community in western Nepal. His idea was to use the renewable energy to improve the quality of education services offered at two local schools. As a recipient of one of the scholarships awarded annually by the Global Sustainable Electricity Partnership, Nirash, a native Nepalese, recognizes well the value of receiving a good education and firmly believes in the positive impact it can have on your ability to earn and give back to your community. The Global Sustainable Electricity Partnership, or GSEP, is an organization of leading electricity companies from around the world. Its mission is to promote sustainable energy development through electricity sector projects and human capacity building activities in developing nations worldwide. With the help of NIRASH, GSEP chose the village development community of Matella as the site for its Energy for Education project. One of the most remote villages in the district of Sirkat, Matella is only reachable by a road that is open during just six months of the year. As in most rural areas, the main sources of energy in Matella are kerosene and firewood for lighting and cooking. The two local schools in the village have no electricity at all. The Energy for Education project proposes the installation of a photovoltaic or PV system in each of the schools to supply sufficient electricity to light all classrooms. The PV systems will also be used to operate new computers for the students. In addition to the PV systems, the project also proposes a program to distribute small solar home systems to participating students and residents in Matella. This will provide them with a cleaner source of electricity to replace the kerosene lamps they currently use at home. The project started in 2011 in Matella with a survey of the parents of students enrolled in the two local schools, the Malika Yumavi and the Rastriya Mavi schools. The survey not only confirmed the interest of Matella residents to participate in the Energy for Education project, it also confirmed their capacity and commitment to pay for the programs it offered. The GSEP partnered with the Beautiful Nepal Association, or BNA, a local NGO with experience in off-grid solar projects, and the Malika Yumavi Schools Management Committee for the development and implementation of the project. 
support from the Rastriam Avi Schools Management Committee, as well as from the Matella Village Development Committee Secretary, and from the Government of Nepal's AEPC, were critical to the success of the project. The investment was provided by GSEP's member, Duke Energy. The seed money was used for the purchase of all equipment, as well as for the construction and all installation and related transportation costs. Under a Memorandum of Understanding, BNA and the Malika Yuma V Schools Management Committee set up an operational committee that is responsible for the operation and management of the Malika Yuma V Schools PV system and the overall solar home system program. BNA will offer technical and administrative support to the operational committee and will supervise their work to ensure its quality. The school's management committee will supervise the operational committee, ensuring that the installed PV system and the solar home system program, which will use the school as its main distribution and maintenance center, run smoothly. The project was designed to be financially sustainable in the short and long run by charging students and residents a small fee to have access to the computer education component of the project as well as for the purchase of the solar home systems. The fees were determined jointly with local partners based on the residents' input in the survey and are comparable to those already paid by residents for kerosene lamps. The Operational Committee will collect the fees for both programs and deposit them into an account managed jointly by the Malika Yuma V Schools Management Committee and BNA. Funds collected will be used towards the operation and maintenance of the PV system for the purchase of new solar home systems, for battery replacement and disposal, as well as for technical maintenance. The Rastriya Mavi School, where the second PV system will be installed, will create its own operational committee that will also be supported by BNA. The groundbreaking ceremony took place on December 16, 2012 at the Malika Yuma V School. Construction of the new computer room was completed three months later. Shortly after, the installation of the PV systems at both schools began. A civil engineer evaluated all existing school buildings before the installation to ensure the structures were sound enough to support the solar panels. The Nepal Energy for Education project was finally inaugurated on April 16, 2013. The inauguration ceremony was attended by local government officials, GSEP and its local partners, and over 700 villagers, including teachers and students from both schools and their families. The solar home systems were handed out that same day to participating Matella residents. Upon commissioning, the operation and management responsibility for the project's components was transferred to the schools and BNA. The project will be closely monitored by GSEP over a period of two years, during which BNA will send periodical reports on its operation and performance. Essential to ensuring the sustainability of a project is the transfer of technical and managerial skills to local stakeholders. With the support of its members, Duke Energy and Kansai Electric Power Company, GSEP conducted a technical training workshop on standalone PV systems from December 10 to 14, 2012 in Kathmandu, Nepal. This workshop provided the necessary technical training for the staff supervising the installed PV systems. In addition to the project's operating crews, current and future implementers of solar PV technology from 15 different districts in Nepal also attended the workshop. A total of 29 participants were trained. A second technical workshop was given exclusively to the staff of the operational committee. Focusing on the operation and maintenance of solar home systems, this training took place in March 2013. With the development of local skills, this project has a high potential for replication. The Government of Nepal's 
AEPC has already indicated that they would like to see this energy for education concept reproduced in other regions in the country. Through its Energy for Education project, GSEP helped its scholarship recipient, Niraj Subedi, demonstrate the potential of solar energy as a viable power source for improving education. Without access to a reliable and affordable source of energy, remote communities are the most prone to poverty. Access to better education can unlock the economic potential in these communities. This project with the installation of a PV system in two rural schools and the creation of a program to distribute portable solar home systems provides a successful model for sustainable energy development that can help improve the quality of life of some of the most vulnerable regions in the world.